Alright guys, quick video here um, for Start Motor, uh, Renault Traffic, Vauxhall Vivaro, Nissan Prime Style 1.9 DCI, CDTI, blah blah blah, you get the gist. A lot of information floating around on the internet saying that they're a 4-5 to five hour job, you've got to take all the downpipe off, you don't. Um, basically I've just done this one on here for the first time. Um, so basically it's all back to cover now, but I will briefly show you and explain the easy way of doing it. About an hour's job. Two if you want to take your time. One crucial thing you must remember right now though is disconnect the battery. Definitely. So regarding the top here, um, all you need to do, just for making a little bit more work if you are doing it on your back so to speak, um, is remove this boost pipe, this boost pipe, and then that will gain you access down the bottom there. There's a 13 mil that you need to pull out uh, from the start motor. Um, that's basically all you really need to do from the top, regards of um, unbolting the start motor. So I'll show you now underneath. So I'm lying on my back at the moment, and as you can see, I'm looking straight up, and there's a start motor right there. So you can see why people say. You need to remove the cat. Some people say you need to move the drive shaft. When, really speaking, you don't. So all you need to do is undo that 13 there. Remove that 10 mil there, which removes the earth strap. And then withdraw that 13 there. On the other back side, sorry about the light. There is 13 there and another 13 above that so you can't see it but basically they're there this bracket then comes out of place then that 13 there and then there's one more 13 just there obviously before you undo the starter motor you want to go from this far side you might want to undo that but you will get your hands down the back so basically you go through the downpipe and then that will gain your access to the 13mm main power feed and then just on top of that is an 8mm nut for the exciter wire. So once you've done that, you basically lift the back end of the starter motor up, then you want to spin it clockwise so the start the, um, that solenoid goes away from you, spin it and you will take it straight up above the gearbox there um, but obviously the one bolt a little bit figgly, fig, fig, vinically but obviously this is where ratchet spanners is coming so you want to um, push that plastic uh, grommet out of the way as well because this bracket comes off with that bolt that goes into the starter motor so I'll show you from the top start motor imagine this is down above the gearbox will come out like that so obviously it's sat in the on the engine like that i'm going to turn it clockwise so it's upside down and it comes straight out um, and exactly the same of when you're refitting it you want to push it down and then you want to spin it anti-clockwise so obviously it's like that you put it in spin it anti-clockwise and go straight in and then just bolt everything up in reverse is what you've done to um, stripping it apart so hopefully guys um, this has cleared a few things up and makes your life a bit easier than doing access stuff like everyone else has suggested like the video please subscribe like thumbs up thank you <clears throat>